in Assassin's Creed 3. I wouldn't know, I didn't play it. Yes, they were. Why? Why, why, why? Why would they do such a silly thing? That's just silly. I am going to give. I give that mission a four. And votes are done. Let's see what we got here. Ah, most people voted for. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think too. That's what I think too. I think five is a little too much. I mean, it was a fun mission, but it was no, you know, meet pirate Goki for the first time mission. Right. Ubisoft, you did good. We need more missions like that. Four stars. Fascinating cause. Continue. Yes. Hey. No. I just saw you were logging out. I don't so want to be I'd out here. Give you something, a little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work, and they're nice to have since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. Olivier. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, the floor, do so it's not hard to find, but the rest of this building can be confusing to first timers. So we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be mm -hmm. easy to find. I'm adding a custom waypoint right now. <laughs> Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. I can't make this, that same guarantee. After you, what the logo? Damn it. Okay. All right, iPad that does everything. Oh no, my eye candy. Hi. Testing, testing. Is this thing working? <coughs> this is John from IT. We met earlier. I, I was calibrating your animus. I'm sort of the uh, Scotty of this Abstergo enterprise. In charge of all the techie stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh, ah, oh. oh, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Oh, that's ah. not creepy. All right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Uh, if it involves slaying, slaying shit, sure. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Your lips weren't moving. She's a witch. Burn her. Throw her overboard. Ban her. Get her out of here. Wi-Fi signal, but I'm thirsty. Reminder: Following the discovery of sensitive information, the Edward Kenway project is to never mind. I didn't get to finish reading it. Ooh. Let's see, where's my immersion at? John here needs to take a whiz. <laughs> nope, no immersion. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. Let's go explore the upstairs go place. Anything downstairs? Authorized personnel only. Damn it. Yes, you could pee in Duke Nukem, that's why I thought I'd give it a try. Moy foils. Oh, I have my foils. Abstergo. You're not like nervous, about are you? It. He's a very nice guy. I didn't ask you for your opinion. Meet the sea, sea. Oh, okay. I bet on a burp, burp. Huh. Well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the. But this is. But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. 
Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. Wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Dave. A pretty good looking uh, <laughs> backdrop. Uh, thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a. How about I kick you off the edge here for suggesting such a stupid idea? City, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But Why some big wigs so at Astrogo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Don't mind me, I just want to eavesdrop on your French conversation. <laughs> Pas vraiment? No, no subtitles? That sucks. Alright, no subtitles, I'm out of here. Not that we would have been able to read them anyway. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. Wait, aren't you the fucking IT guy? Can't you do that on your own? Like, for real? <laughs> Doing bitch work for someone else. Zero out of ten. What sticky note? Oh, too late. Already went downstairs. I know. Maybe I can. Maybe I could turn on the Eagle's visions to find out who's an assassin. Oh wait, we're not Desmond anymore. A locked door. Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now you do too. Don't abuse it. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Level one. What a badass. Oh hey, look at that. Got some action figures. There's all these fancy men. Except for the chick with the midriff. <laughs> Everyone else, ban it and get it out of here. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. What? Okay. Whee! 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 Oh, big bang attack! Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Yeah, I have a giant sphere puzzle on my computer uh, too. By a firewall, of course. <laughs> December twenty third, twenty twelve. Oh, look at those Sample subtitles! Unit team lead Fisher Case reporting on subject seventeen, Desmond Miles. Love how ugly he is now. <laughs> The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and seven minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. 
Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. A sample recovery team report detailing the collection of Subject 17's remains for use in Sample 17 project. Wait a December minute. December 23rd, 2012. Oh, oh my god, thank god. Skippable cutscenes! <laughs> Best game I ever played. I mean, I think Desmond lost all hope of living once they changed his appearance. I mean, wh like, what was wrong with him in the first three games? I don't get it. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. See, that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could. But it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless like, I care about things being illegal? Do you know who I am, son? I'm gonna hack all the things. Password. Oh boy. Let's try and figure this one out. Oh, okay. That <laughs> that was pathetically easy. Core access granted. Yay! Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Hey, Dad. Uh, you know it's uh, it's funny. I I have this memory of you. Uh, when I keep coming back to. I, I always think about it when I'm working or just before going to bed uh, because it um, sort of calms me, I guess. Um, I was 14, I think, and, um, and and you were trying to teach me how to, to walk with a light step. Remember that? How to be mindful of how much noise I made when I moved around. Simple stuff. Stuff I understand now, but back then, I... Uh, I gotta tell you, I thought you were just being <laughs> an asshole. Uh, so, uh, you told me you were gonna go up to your room and sit with your back to the door and read a book. And you wanted me to wait at least 15 minutes and then sneak up there and tap you on the shoulder without you knowing. I, I even remember the book you were reading at the time, the one by uh, Captain Johnson. And you warned me that if you caught me, we'd have to start all over. Then you went upstairs. And I waited. I waited, and I waited, and I waited. I waited four hours before deciding to go up. And even then, it took me 20 minutes to get to the foot of the stairs. And uh, another 30 to get up them. And then 10 to get down the hall. And there I was at the door and peeked into your room. And I was, I was so hoping that you'd be asleep. But no. No, you, you were still reading, and I just about shit myself. But ten minutes later, I was just five feet away from you. And that's when I remember setting my foot down, and you flinched. Ever so slightly, you, you flinched. I thought maybe I'd imagined it, but I knew you'd hurt me. You didn't say anything. You just checked your watch, you reached for your drink, you took a sip, and then you kept reading. But I knew I'd failed. You didn't say anything. I, I, I didn't understand why. Then I lunged and tapped you on the shoulder, and you turned around, and, oh, fantastic, you said, and you scooped me up, and you gave me a big hug, and I didn't say anything. But Dad, Dad, I was so pissed off. 
I wanted to scream at you. I, I failed, and you knew it, but you said nothing. And I stayed mad for weeks. I thought you were, you, you were patronizing me. I thought maybe you decided right there that I was never going to be the man you wanted me to be. But I realized just a few years ago that you checking your watch, that was the clue, wasn't it? You let me win because I had been so patient. I guess that impressed you. You know, maybe at that moment you thought it might be better to be my dad instead of my mentor. I, I don't really know. Maybe for you, they're, they're one and the same. You know, either way, I'm happy to know that both my mentor and my dad are looking out for me that day. I didn't understand that then. I think I do now. That's one of the short ones? <laughs> At least I don't have to read it myself. I think I'll pass on, uh, on that computer. Two of 33?! Oh my god, is that another one right there? My god, it is another one. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna limit that to, like, one between each mission, if that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, we're not gonna do too much of that. Oh, hey, can I hack your stuff? Damn it. I deliver that package myself, and I'm deep into some database coding. Yep, 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 I'll be doing this. I, I, I enjoy doing bitch work. It's what I'm best at. I'm pretty good at picking games that have that kind of crap. I am not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your what copy the? is shit. You could use some practice. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, I no. That recipe to the letter. Why is he still alive? Oh, Sean, not a scientist. No! Oh, oh God, he died his hair. Ban him. Get him out oh, of here. Look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all. You're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That What's should do it. her face? We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. She's great, isn't she? Uh. Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee doing a job. But thanks for helping. And the hero of this story. Have fun pirating. <laughs> a pirating. Pirating is the best. Do they explain how they got to work in Abstergo? Well, I mean, they are part of the Assassins, and the Assassins are all stealthy. Level 2, Project Echantillon 17. Support to the second floor sample 17 project. So what, we have to say it in French and then repeat it in English? <laughs> like that. Oh, hey, look at that! Beanbags! This place is full of hipsters. I absolutely hate it here. Oh, hey, look at that. Or, uh, action figures. Oi. Where are you going? The market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them. And I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! She's mighty fine. Mighty fine. I had to. <laughs> Wake up, can we? Oh, hey, it's the He-Man-She thing. Start about. 
He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old core of ourselves. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we liked. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. What the hell? What the- what is this? Uh... Is... What? Uh, is... Uh, I think there's a glitch in the system. <laughs> there seems to be a void gap between universes right there. I'm gonna go swim in it. Yeah, well... <laughs> what? what the fuck is this? And out came a ship! <laughs> what the... Oh, hey! <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? Oh, we're all right. <laughs> all right. Well, that's... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's... That's how... That's how Edward Kenway likes to board his ships. <laughs> oh... <laughs> What did you <laughs> The magic of Davy Jones, that's what we just witnessed. God damn, she got quite the head start on me. <laughs> Edward, over here. Hold on, getting stuck jumping on things. You must see this! You must see this. Oh, you talking about those Balverines? <laughs> Balverines are very dangerous. <laughs> That's what she sounds like right now. Odd looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. Me? No, no I'm worse terrible. than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Alien. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound, deep into matter, until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. A shimmering? You understand? I think so. I've seen its light before, glowing like moonlight on the ocean. I don't understand why all these girls want the D. Why don't they not want the A? <laughs> you want to talk about the D. Okay, so... I don't think I'm on the right... No! Go, go, no! Edward, what are you doing? Get the shanty! Go, 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 go! Yeah! Awesome. <laughs> the wild goose. Alright. Time to get crushed at this puzzle. I gotta climb up first. Go on, man. Focus. Look through the darkness. I gotta be up top, okay. Align the shape on the highlighted objects. Uh. How do I rotate? Ooh. Hmm. Yay! Every man and woman on 
this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought it was related in some way to my dreaming, or the like. Most never find it. Others, it takes years to tease out. But for a rare few, it comes as natural as breathing. What you feel is the light of life. Of living things past and present. The residue of vitality. Come and gone. Any man's senses can be tuned well past what he's born with. If he tries. Oh, and here we thought Desmond was special. Oh, wait, nope, he's not. <laughs> you just have to try really hard. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. How the this hell way. do you know this? I have something else to show you. Tiki maps all over the place. My install. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I found something else just here. I think you'll take the secret much faster. Hey, I thought I did okay with that one. <laughs> I put the shapes in the right pegs. Yay! Ooh, ooh, we need. We do need more rupees. Upgrades available. Nope. I have to save my weapons. To the mystery machine, gang! Only wait till you see what lies at the end. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur Ducasse was a man of many secrets. He didn't hide this one very well. Here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of Ducasse. I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection <clears throat> of thumbscrews. I think or we could use a torture language. barrel on the jackdaw. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Since when do we help people? Bad excuse is better than none at all. It's the outfit. Uh, I think they call it Edward, the legendary pirate outfit. Assassin's thing. Templar hunt. I have to go to all of these? Gain money medium. Where's gain money massive? <laughs> Gain money, medium, gain money, medium, gain money, high, please. Here, for your Templar thing. What chest? Thank you. Let's put a little pep in that step. Come on, I don't, why, why are we doing the slow jog? We got places we need to be. Course. She gets in instant transmission, and I'm left to figure out how the hell to get out of here. I hope this is the way. There we go. Finally, you put on the afterburners. Stop working on them gams. I think it's because, like back then, James could also is like today's Jessica or something like that. that's what someone said. <laughs> something like that. I don't know, whatever. I don't 